Hey y'all, it's Mr. Smith. Um, today we're going to be solving a linear programming problem. I'm going to go and read it to you. It says, Farmer Bill can only grow lima beans and turnips on his farm. Farmer Bill has no more than 24 acres. Each acre of lima beans require one hour of upkeep during the week. Each acre of turnips require two hours of upkeep. Farmer Bill can work up to 40 hours during the, work, during the week tending to the lima beans and turnips. If lima beans bring in a profit of two thousand dollars profit, it's extra profit there. I apologize about that. And turnip brings in three thousand five hundred dollars in profit. How many acres of each should Farmer Bill grow to maximize his profit? So, uh, typically in these problems, we first want to identify our two variables, what our x and y is, and if we usually look at our last question, the actual question, we can figure out what our two variables are. Because it says how many acres of each. And if we go back, we know the acres that he's talking about is acres of lima beans and acres of turnips. So those are our two variables. So I'm going to write um, acre of lima beans. I'm just going to put lima just for room sake. And I'm going to write acre uh, turn up. Those are our two unknowns. We don't know that, alright? So that's what a variable is. It's an unknown. The next part is trying to determine what our constraints are. Constraints are just a limitation on a value. So when we read this, um, you really want to look at your numbers. So I see we have one hour upkeep we have two hours of upkeep and then we have 40 hours which is the total amount that he can spend so when we look at this we know we have one hour of upkeep for the lima beans so I'm going to put 1x and we have two hours of upkeep for our turnip so I'm going to put 2y but Farmer Bill can only work up to 40 hours. So I'm going to put the total for 40. And I'm going to put less than or equal. The reason why I put less than or equal is because he can work less than 40. But he cannot work more than 40. And this constraint is our upkeep. So I'm going to put upkeep just so we know what it's called. So this is dealing with our upkeep. We also know that Farmer Bill has no more than 24 acres. So I'm going to put less than or equal to 24. And to find out the total number of acres, we can have the acres of lima plus the acres of turnips needs to be less than or equal to 24. So this is just going to be x and y. And this, the constraint would be acres or number of acres. because his farm is only 24 acres so he can't build more than 24. If he only wants to plant 20 acres he can do that. Um, the last one is our objective function. This will always be our objective function. We will either be maximizing something or we'll be minimizing. In this case we are maximizing and we're trying to maximize profit. That's why there's a P here because we're trying to maximize profit. And we know the profit for lima beans is 2,000. So I'm going to put 2,000 X. And the profit for turnips is 3,500. Bam. So for a linear programming problem, this is probably the most difficult part. Um, if you get this part down, it's pretty much smooth selling after that. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to pull out our two equations. So we have X plus 2Y is less than or equal to 40 and we have x plus y is equal to 24 um, excuse me less than or equal to 24 so we're going to graph these real quick so we have a visual of what's going on so first I'm going to find the x-intercept and remember for the x-intercept y is equal to 0 so we end up with x and then 2 times 0 is less than or equal to 40 
So we know x is going to be equal to 40. So we have a y-intercept of 40 comma 0. And I'm going to find the y-intercept right here. And remember the y-intercept x is equal to 0. So this time we have 0 plus 2y is less than or equal to 40. Divide both sides by 2. And we get y is going to be equal to 20. So we have a y-intercept of 0 comma 20. And then we do the same thing for this function here, or inequality, excuse me. Um, so again, we're going to find the x-intercept. Um, y is equal to 0, so we plug in 0. So x plus 0 is less than or equal to 24. So we know x is going to be equal to 24. So we have 24 comma 0. And this goes back to what we did in foundation, so you should be pretty good at this. Um, then we have y-intercept. We know x is always equal to 0, so we plug in 0 for x. Let's not equal to 24, so we know y is going to be equal to 24. So we have 0, 24. Cool. So I'm just going to draw a rough sketch so we have an idea of what's going on. Um, for all our linear programming, the majority of our problems are just going to deal with our positive values, so our positive y's and our positive x's because we can't have negative acres of lima beans and we can't have negative acres of turnips. Just can't do that. Um, so I'm going to graph this one first. So we have x plus 2y is less than or equal to 40. The x-intercept is at 40. So I'm going to put 40 right here. Put a little dot there. And then we have 20. So I'm going to put 20 right about here. Mm, right about there. And bam, and I'm just going to draw my line through that. And we know it's a less than or equal here, so we're going to shade below. So bam, 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 bam. I'm going to go to my second function. And I'm just going to use a, a marker just so y'all can see the contrast in color. Um, our x-intercept is 24, so 40 is here. We know 24 is probably right about there. So I'm going to put 24. Bam. And then we have 0, 24 for our y-intercept, so 20 is here. So we know 24 is probably right about there. And I'm going to go to write it as an ordered pair. Go to draw that line. And then we're going to shade. So our feasible region of our solution is going to be this area here. So we have BAM, we have BAM, and we have BAM. Those are our three vertices. We actually have four of them, but since we're trying to maximize profit, we know we would not make any money if we didn't grow any lima beans or any acres. So we're going to worry about these three points. And this was 0, 20. So vertex 1, vertex 2, I'm just going to put V2, and then V3. So vertex 1, I'm going to call it 0, 20. Vertex 3, we're going to call it 24, 0. And then vertex 2, we'll have to do systems of equations or we have to use a method to find out what that intersection is. So we have x plus 2y is equal to 40. I'm going to change it to equals plus y is equal to 24. And when we look at it, um, hopefully you realize that we could just use um, elimination because it's set up perfectly. So you can multiply the bottom one by negative 1 then add it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and subtract. Um, x minus x is 0. 2y minus y is just y. And 40 minus 24 is 16. So I know my y is going to be 16. So I'm going to find my x. So I'm going to choose one of the equations. I'm going to choose the bottom one. And I'm going to substitute in my 16 for y. And then, of course, we subtract that on both sides. And when we do that, up oh, 24, you should get 8. So we have the ordered pair 8, comma 16. 
So now we have to figure out if zero acres of lima beans and 20 acres of turnips gives us the most money, or if eight acres of lima beans and 16 acres of turnips give us the mo most money, or will 24 acres of lima beans and zero turnips give us the most money? So the way we do that, we're actually going to finally use our objective function. So we have 2,000x plus 3,500y. That should be a y there. I apologize. That should be a y. Is equal to our profit. And we're going to do the same thing for each of these. So I'm going to x plus 3,500y. 2,000x plus 3,500y. So I'm going to plug 0 there, and we're going to plug 20 there. So obviously that's going to go away. Well, I'm going to write it out just to make sure everybody's comfortable with this. I'm going to slide it over. So we have 2,000 times 0 plus 3,500 times 20. And 2,000 times 0 is 0. 3,500, well, I know we're going to have three zeros. And then 35 times 2 will give us 70. So we have $70,000 here. Over here, we're going to plug in 8, and we're going to plug in 16. So we have 2,000 times 8, and then we have 3,500 times 16. So 8 times 2,000 is 16,000. And then we're going to multiply 3,500 times 16. So I'm going to do that all to the side real quick. So I have 3,500 times 16. So we get 0, 0, 6 times 5 is 30. 18, add 3, we get 21. Um, add a 0, and then multiply everything by 1. So we have 0, 0, 0, 6, 5. So 5,600. Excuse me, 5,000. 56,000. We're going to add these two together. So we get 0, 0, 0, 2, 7. 72,000. And then we have our last one. So we have 2,000 times 24 plus 3,500 times 0. There's a Y there. So we end up with 0 plus 48,000. So hopefully from this, you can see that this will give us the most profit. In order to make that profit, we're going to need 8 acres of lima beans. And 16 acres of turnips. And if we grow these acres will maximize our profit and we'll have a profit of that. Um, I really hope this helps. Um, if this doesn't help, please tune in for video two. Thank you for your time.